So let's take a look at finding LRAM, RRAM, MRAM, and TRAM using tables and graphs. So to review, LRAM is your left Riemann sum or left rectangular approximation method. RRAM is your right Riemann sum or right rectangular approximation method. And TRAM is your trapezoidal approximation method. And there is a special formula to calculate a trapezoid where you do one half height times base one plus base two. But the way most people remember trapezoidal RAM or TRAM is just by taking your LRAM, adding RRAM, and dividing by two. Because what TRAM really is is just the average between the LRAM and the RRAM. And then your MRAM is your midpoint RAM. And usually you use MRAM when you're looking at tables. So we'll look at tables in this video as well. So obviously to calculate the area of a rectangle, we just have to do base times height. But since we're looking at rectangles in graphs, we have to sort of change the variables so that it kind of matches with the graph. So instead of the base being just labeled B, the base of the rectangle is actually going to be called delta x. And delta x is just the distance from one x value to another. So if we take a look at the center rectangle here, the x value, the well, the base of the rectangle goes from the x values of 2 to 3. So delta x is just going to be 1 in this case, because 3 minus 2 is 1. That is the base of the rectangle. If the right now, if the rectangle was going to go from 2 to 4, the base of it, then delta x would be 2. If it was going to go to 2 to 5, then the delta x would be 3, and so forth. And the height of the rectangle is just going to be f of x, or the y value, when you plug in x. So the height is just the y value of the function when I plug in a certain x value. So once again, looking at this center rectangle, when I plug in 2 for x, the height of this rectangle is 4. Because when I plug in 2 for x, I get 4 as my f of x, or y, or my y value. So the height of the rectangle will be 4. So once again, if I were to calculate the area of this rectangle, we just take delta x times f of x, or the y value. So once again, delta x is 1, because the distance from 2 to 3 is 1. And then f of x is 4, because when I plug in the x value of 2, the y value is 4. So 1 times 4 is 4, and that will be the area of the center rectangle. Now if we were to calculate the area of this little rectangle here, notice how it has the same delta x value, because the distance of its base goes from 1 to 2, and that delta x is just 1. And the y value, or f of x, when I plug in 1, I get 1. So it's just going to be 1 times 1, and the area of that is 1. Now for the tallest rectangle here on the right, delta x is obviously still going to be 1, because we're going from 3 to 4, and 4 minus 3 is 1. And then the f of x, when I plug in 3, the output I get, or the height, or the y value is going to be 9. And once again, 1 times 9 is 9, so the area of this big rectangle is 9. So looking at number 1, use LRAM and RRAM to estimate the area under a curve using four subintervals from x equals 0 to 2. So another word for four subintervals, that just basically means use four rectangles. So we're basically going to have to draw out four rectangles going from 0 to 2. And notice our given curve is y equals the square root of x plus 2, and it's already drawn out in the graph here. So let's just start with LRAM. Now remember, LRAM is your left Riemann sum, or the left rectangular approximation method. So we have to start from the leftmost endpoint and create four rectangles. And also notice one more thing, how we're going, we need to go from x equals 0 to x equals 2, but we need to use four rectangles. So that each rectangle cannot have a base of 1, rather each rectangle needs to have a base of 1 half. And if you don't want to think about this conceptually, and you want just a regular formula, you can just take the rightmost endpoint minus the leftmost endpoint, and divide that by the number of intervals you need to find your delta x, or what the base of each rectangle should be. So if we do 2 minus 0 over the number of intervals we need 4, we'll get 2 over 4, which is 1 half. 
so that's how many or that's the what the base of each rectangle needs to be so I'm just going to go ahead and label these as uh, 0.5 and 1.5 so now we can make four rectangles of equal length or of equal bases so once again we're starting out with LRAM so we have to start out with the leftmost endpoint the leftmost endpoint is 0 the leftmost x value so you start from 0 and then we're just going to go to 0.5 because that's what our base length is 0.5 and then we'll go up to the next point and then go to the right and then come back down when we reach the next x value and then we go up once again to the right come down and then up right down once again and notice how we have made four rectangles so that's when we can stop so now we all we have left to do is calculate the area of each rectangle so once again the area of a rectangle is base times height or in this case delta x times your y value or f of x so for the first rectangle your delta x is just the distance from one x value to the next which is obviously 0.5 so we're going to do 0.5 times f of x now f of x is obviously the height of the rectangle so the height of this rectangle obviously is 2 because it's shown there but if you don't have it labeled just plug in your leftmost x value into the equation and so the square root of 0 is 0 plus 2 so that will just be 2 so we do 0.5 times 2 so that is our first rectangles area now plus the second rectangles area the delta x once again the base is still 0.5 times your y value and now your y value is when you plug in 0.5 into the equation because you'll get that coordinate on the graph so obviously when you plug in 0.5 to your uh, equation here you can just use a calculator and you'll get around 2.707 so 0.5 times 2.70. So now onto the third rectangle. The delta x is still obviously 0.5. So the third rectangle we got 0.5 times when I plug in 1 as my x value, we'll get the y coordinate. And so the square root of 1 is 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have 0.5 times 3 plus the final rectangle or the fourth rectangle. Delta x is obviously 0.5 times when I plug in 1.5 and the square root of 1.5 plus 2 you'll get around 3.225 when you plug into your calculator so now all you have left to do is calculate this and you should get around 5.466 units squared as the final area under the curve so now that we've done LRAM let's do RAM now so RM is obviously the right Riemann sum or the right rectangular approximation method. So once again, this tells you you have to start from the rightmost x coordinate, and our rightmost x coordinate is two. So we're going to go all the way up, go to the left, and then come straight down to the next x value, and then we're going to start from the next point on the graph. Go to the left, come down to the next x value and repeat that process until you've gotten four rectangles now we'll just start from the rightmost rectangle and then work our way left so for the right one here delta x is obviously 0.5 so all of these are going to have the delta x of 0.5 times your height now your height is going to be this height here and so in order to find that height, we're going to plug in 2 as our x value into the equation. So when I plug in 2, the square root of 2 plus 2 is going to be equal to around 3.414. Now plus the second rectangle, or the one to the left, once again, 0.5 is our delta x, times when I plug in 1.5 as my x value. And the good thing about this is we already know what we get when we plug in 1.5 because as shown in LRAM, we got 3.225. Now 
Now plus the area of the rectangle to the left of that. So we get 0.5 times, now we can plug in 1. And when we plugged in 1, we just got 3. Plus this final rectangle, 0.5 times when we plug in 0.5 or 1 half to the equation. And that gave us the value, or the y value, of 2.707. And when you plug all those in, you should get a value of around 6.173 units squared. So now let's say you're asked to find TRAM, and this is by far the easiest one to calculate, because all you're going to do is take your LRAM, add your RRAM, and divide by 2, because we're just trying to find the average here. So your RRAM or your LRAM would be 5.466 plus the RRAM 6.173 over 2. And the TRAM is going to equal around 5.280.